Hey guys, this is Spamik and welcome back to Cybersecurity TV. Uh, in this week episode, we're gonna see the demo for the Dombez XSS. Uh, in the previous video, we have seen like, you know, uh, what are the different types of XSS. We have seen numerous examples on how to exploit stored and reflected cross-site scripting. But then I have got like, you know, a lot of questions and people uh, are always little confused, like, you know, how you can actually find the Dom XSS or actually, you know, generate the proof of concept or how do you exploit the DOM as access so I thought maybe this is a good one to uh, start off like you know I'll give you guys a quick demo on how you should uh, what you should look for and how do you prevent the access like DOM access and and like you know if you are a pen tester how you should go ahead and like you know try different payloads so uh, like you know the first thing uh, is the DOM based access is also known as type 0 access so uh, in this one uh, so how it differs from the reflected or the stored access is because this payload is executed as a result of modifying the DOM uh, and it changes the environment of the client side script so uh, if you take the example of the JavaScript so like you know if you look up any html pages uh, which like on the client side you would see it's a combination of uh, lots of scripts and and, and html uh, html response now when uh, an attacker can able to modify the dom of the page then like you know it can uh, input like untrusted payload and and that way they can exploit the uh, dom xss now here's the thing like you know how uh, when you are doing like normal uh, request to any application like you know if you're making a request to the uh, let's say www.google.com uh, the request will go to the server and then like you know server will send back the response which will be uh, rendered in your browser in the case of dom access that's not the case so this one uh, like you know uh, there won't be any request goes to the server because like you know uh, the entire processing happens on the client side rather on the server side so you would not see any uh, request being made uh, to the server and that's why we do not need any proxy for this demonstration because it's straightforward like you know we need a proxy when we have to intercept the traffic between the client and server now in this case since there is no interaction uh, we essentially do not need any proxy uh, so le let's take a look at the demo and then we can discuss a few uh, more topics on how you can prevent the uh, access All right, so uh, this is like, you know, I have I have prepared a small HTML script uh, To demonstrate the DOM access. So uh, first let's take a look at the source code So if you look at here uh, So there is a script uh, What we are doing is we are taking a num num as a parameter as an input from the user and we are splitting the uh, value whatever it is and then uh, the result is our uh, of course like you know uh, this DID and then we are passing that value whatever we have got from the user to the eval function now if you take a look at the eval function so the eval function uh, like you know it takes any like you know it takes any string so it would uh, like you know whatever the input you provide you'll get the string and then it will evaluate uh, so for example like you know if you, you can also give like a numbers you can also give uh, like you know string you can also so so like you know with the same so use of this yeah, we can say like you know uh, this application is sort of like you know calculator so like 10 plus 10 it will give you 20 now if you do uh, so 20 plus 10 is equal to 30 you can also do multiplication it's 200 so pretty much same thing like you know how whatever you'll give to the eval, eval it will take as a string and then it will evaluate the values now in this case as you could see uh, there is nothing happening on the server side so for example i have not given any server side address like you know any post request or anything like when the user submits the page where the request should go because everything is happening between these two lines and and that's about it now as an attacker what you can do is because eval takes like you know any string and executes it you can also provide the javascript value to it and it will also execute as a javascript so for example if you simply do uh, script alert one two three script all right not this sorry yeah 
yes because we are already in the in the script tag like we don't have to provide the script again but yeah uh, if you provide any JavaScript function or like you know any 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 methods it will do whatever you want so for example if uh, if you want you can also do like you know document dot cookie of course we do not have any cookie on this page like because uh, this is just a demo HTML page uh, which I have it here so but yeah you can you can pretty much try like you know uh, also you can do things like what we have done in the past like you know uh, recording the session cookies also logging the session cookies and all those things so you can do the same thing with this uh, as well all right so uh, now we saw like you know uh, it's possible to do like a DOM access here and if we just go to the page source uh, like you know first off to prevent this just make sure you do not use this function anywhere in the code like if you are a developer you do not want to use eval because it's a dangerous method uh, anything given to that like if there is a way that the user is able to provide the input directly to this function it's gonna mess up your code entirely so do not use eval function at all now on top of that there are certain other rules which you can follow and which you should follow to prevent the cross-site scripting uh, this is like you know uh, from the OWASP side this is on the github uh, but you can so like you know uh, the general uh, rule of thumb is like you know uh, you should be doing these two things so like do the HTML encoding and then you should also be doing the JavaScript encoding so this way you can uh, essentially uh, you know uh, at least eliminate all the untrusted data that the user is giving and uh, like you know you should not be allow any user input uh, without any sanitization uh, so this is like you know a quick demo on how you can do the DOM access uh, like you know and and what it looks like if you are a, if you are a pen tester you would see like you know uh, sometimes scanners will flag like based on the JavaScript uh, uh, methods and things like that but now if you have a knowledge where to look for and what to look for so if there is a uh, of uh, methods like you know eval or some dangerous other methods being used by the developer then yeah uh, there is a possibility of the dom access if that's not the case but then if the user is able to provide the input directly to the uh, this method and and like you know it's going back to the uh, browser uh, without any sort of encoding without any sanitization then yes uh, it's a it's a case of the uh, DOM XSS so uh, that was a quick demo on the DOM XSS uh, if you have any questions feel free to uh, like you know write a quick question in the comment box uh, I'll be back next week with uh, a new episode of the uh, application security uh, till then uh, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the like button if you like the video uh, and I'll see you guys next time thank you